Iranian-backed militias and the Syrian National Defense Forces, NDF, have launched a joint security operation against ISIS cells in the area between the towns of al mayadeen and al Mall on the western bank of the Euphrates. According to pro-government sources, hundreds of fighters and 120 military vehicles are involved. Liwa Fatimiyun, which is funded, trained, and equipped by the Iranian Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, is reportedly leading the operation. Pro-government forces once again resumed active anti-ISIS efforts following another increase of ISIS attacks in the desert area. According to pro-government sources, on August 6, the terrorists attacked positions and checkpoints of the Syrian Arab Army and the National Defense Forces around the town of Jundia. Government forces repelled the attack after several hours of heavy clashes. On August 4, ISIS terrorists stormed a Syrian army position near the town of Jababiyad. The previous attack on August 1st also happened in the countryside of Deir Azor, killing at least two NDF members and injuring several others. On August 6th, a combat drone of the Turkish armed forces struck an electric cable factory in the district of Kanat al-Sis, east of the city of al-Kashmili in the province of al hasaka The targeted factory reportedly employs dozens of locals and produces only civilian products. At least one civilian was severely injured in the strike, which also caused material damage. A day earlier, on August 5th, Turkish artillery strikes killed at least two members of the Syrian Democratic Forces, SDF, near the towns of Ain Issa and Sida. While Turkish-backed forces and the SDF do not conduct active offensive operations against each other, they regularly engage each other in firefights and artillery duels. The security situation continues to deteriorate in the southern part of the Idlib de-escalation zone. Since August 5th, clashes between the Syrian army and Turkish-backed militants, mostly Hayat Tur al-Sham, have been ongoing in northern Latakia and northwestern Hama. This significantly intensified on the evening of August 6th in the area of the Al-Kurd mountain. Army troops reportedly tried to advance towards the Al-Dada hill, but their attack was repelled. According to pro-militant sources, at least nine Syrian soldiers and five militants were killed in the clashes. The London-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights also claimed that several Russian service members were injured in militant artillery strikes near the village of Kin Sabah. If this report is confirmed, it may finally force the Russian Aerospace Forces and Special Operations Units to provide more active assistance to the Syrian army in its current standoff with the terrorists. This support will likely guarantee success in the field for pro-government forces, but at the same time it will lead to a new round of tension with Turkey, which actively protects Idlib radicals. Therefore, a new round of escalation in Greater Idlib still requires some large incident that would force the main backers of the warring sides to switch from mostly diplomatic efforts to direct military actions.